In this session, we'll see what is a binary erasure channel. So this is this will be a continuation of what we saw in the previous class. This binary symmetric channel. So in the case of a binary erasure channel, we'll see we'll see the channel diagram first. This will be more explanatory. So just like the binary symmetric channel, you have two source alphabets, x1 and x2, and two alphabets of the receiver, y1 and y2. But here in between, you have a, another one symbol, y. That is, if there is an error, the destination that does not receive the symbol. Instead, it is received as Y at Y and an automatic repeat request is sent to the source to resend the symbol. That is, only if the symbol is received correctly, it is received at the destination. Otherwise, it is a request is sent back to the source. An ARQ, automatic repeat request, is sent back to the source to retransmit the symbol. So here again, the error probability is P and the conditional probability P of Yj by X, X1 and Yj by X2, Y2 by X2 is given as P bar, that is one by one minus P. I hope this is clear. Again, here again, P of X1 is W, P of X2 is W bar. Error probability is P. Error prob probability is not received at the receiver. It is received by the symbol Y. And if Y is received, then you have to retransmit the autom retransmit the symbol. An automatic repeat request will be sent to the source until the correct symbol is received. So here, when you write the channel conditional probability matrix, okay. the joint probability matrix. So P of Y by X is written as P of Y1 by X1 will be P. P of Y bar by P of Y by X1 will be P. Sorry, P of Y1 by X1 will be P bar. P of Y by X1 will be P. Y2 by X1 will be 0. And P of Y1 by X2 will be 0. Y by X2 will be P. And Y2 by X2 will be P. Okay. So here again. P of x1 is w, P of x2 is w bar, then w plus w bar will be 1, and P plus P bar will be equal to 1. So here, the only difference here is the introduction of y when, the, when an error occurs. When an error occurs, it doesn't go to the destination, it will be received at y, and the retransmission uh, signal will be sent to the source. An automatic request, repeat request will be sent back to the source and this en ensures 100% correct data recovery. Okay. Now we'll see the analysis for deriving the channel capacity. So here again, we write the entropy, conditional entropy equation, H of Y by X equal to H given as j equal to 1 to s, pj log of 1 by pj. And as before, it is p bar log of 1 by p plus p log 1 by p. And you can write an equation for the entropy of the source, h of x. h of x is nothing but i equal to 1 to 2, summation of i equal to 1 to 2, P of xi log of 1 by P of xi. So P of xi will be W, 
log of 1 by p of xi will be 1 by w plus p of x2 will be w bar log of 1 by p of x2 will be 1 by w. Now we can convert this conditional entropy matrix, conditional probability matrix to a joint probability matrix. Okay. So for converting the first row, you have to multiply the first row by P of Xi. P of Xi will be W. So the first row in the conditional probability matrix, this is the conditional probability matrix. First row is multiplied by W and second row is multiplied by W bar. So you get this, the conditional probability matrix. Now, once you have the conditional probability matrix, you can find out the marginal probabilities P of Y1, P of Y, P of Y2, and also P of X1, P of X2. P of X1 will be summation of the first rows. P of X, X1, X2 will be summation of the second row. P of Y1 will be summation of the first column. P of Y will be summation of the second column. P of Y2 will be summation of the third column. Now for finding P of X by Y. Okay, P of X by Y, you can use this formula, P of X Y comma Y J by P of Y J. Okay, so from the conditional probability matrix, joint probability matrix, you can get P of X Y comma Y J. And we have individually found out all the marginal probabilities p of y1 p of y2 p of y p of y so using this formula you can find p of x by y that is p of xi by yj so first term will be p bar w this is the term in the joint probability matrix divided by P of Yj. P of Yj, we have found out separately. Yeah. P of Y1 will be P bar into W. So this is the joint probability matrix P bar W divided by the same thing, P bar W. So you'll get one. So for each term, you have to divide the probability Joint probability matrix term by the by the corresponding value of P of Y J. Okay, so when you do that, you'll get this matrix: one W zero zero W bar one. Okay, so this will be P of X by Y. From this, you can find out P of entropy, H of conditional entropy, H of X by Y. So, in terms of probability, the conditional entropy matrix is written as I equal to 1 to 2, J equal to 1 to 3, which is Y varies from 1 to 3, P of X i comma Y J log of 1 by P of X i by Y J. So both these matrices we know P of X i comma Y J and P of X i by Y J. P of X i by Y J we have calculated now. P of X comma Y we have it here. So each term for each term you have to find the entropy value. So when you substitute each term, you'll get an equation like this, P into log of W log of 1 by W plus W bar log of 1 by W bar. Just do it and verify this. Then you have to find the expression for the mutual information, I of X comma Y. That is nothing but H of X minus H of X by Y. 
take the substitutions of h of x and h of x by y to arrive at this equation. Let's do this and see. So this will be one group the terms, you'll get one minus p w log of one by w plus w bar log of one by w bar. And this term happens to be h of x. One minus p is nothing but p bar. So i of x comma y, you can write it as p bar h of x. And the expression for channel capacity will be maximum of i of x comma y, maximum of p into h of x. And h of x will be maximum when probability of x1 and x2 will be equal to 1 by 2. So p log base 2 of 2. So that will be equal to 1. So c will be equal to p. So even though binary erasure channel is a symmetric channel, the formula i of x comma y equal to h of y minus h of y by x cannot be used since h of y involves y which is rejected at the receiver. 